day two of the school trip. In the afternoon, you toured uh, Tatsumi at Port Island. And at night... Paulonia Mall? I don't know. Club Escapade. Club Escapade. Whoa! So this is a club. Looks kind of... Woo! I'm totally ready for this! Empty. I don't think you are, Chi. Are, are any of you of legal drinking age? There's nothing like this back home. <laughs> is it permitted for high school students such as yourselves to be here? You're one to fucking talk. What? Dude, look who's talking. You were here before we were. That's right. I guess if the first years came on the trip, you'd be here too. The clientele here seems above board, so I don't expect there'll be any problems. The fuck? Huh? You're leaving? Why don't you join us? Are you... asking me to stay? Uh-huh. We didn't get to chat last time. Uh, I... it's just that I had some matters to attend to that day. Well, you're free now, right? I was really eager to talk to you. I'm curious how someone my age is working as a detective. How about it? Mm, very well, if you insist. Huh? What's up? You look a little red. Yeah, sorry, Naoto's best girl. Th that's not true. Wait here. I'll go reserve the area upstairs for us. Okay. Wait, what? Reserve? Yep. Don't worry. I think I can pull some strings. You sh Wait, really? Guess that's what being an idol gets you. You good? Uh, <clears throat> What's wrong, man? Stomach pains? Mm, that ain't it. Man's trying to adjust his pants. Rise reserved the second floor and you all made a toast. Are you sure this is all right? Isn't it expensive? Oh no, Teddy's here. No worries. Two years ago when I had a secret show here, the power went out in the middle of it and the gig was canceled. Oh damn. They still owe me from then, so they're willing to put this one on the house. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, in that case, I'm gonna order more! Woo! I'm not gonna hold back either! Teddy, this... God, I hope this isn't alcohol. Dude, you sound even weirder today. Oh! You're so cold, Kanji. Hmm. <laughs> Kanji! 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 I conjecture that something's up! <laughs> That's a great one! Man, you're already in high gear. <laughs> conjecture? <laughs> Please tell me they didn't give you actual alcohol. Uh, she's looser than usual, too. Hey, wait a sec. Are these liquor? Uh, I told them to give us soft drinks. They're non-alcoholic. Are you sure? Mm, I told them. Really, I did. Really. Oh, my God. Oh, sheesh. I was wondering why it's so hot. Is this seriously booze? <laughs> but the smells... King's game! Oh no. Times like this, adults play the king's game. It's the law. <laughs> what? What's their problem? They make me act like a 
tits, call me resent and stuff, and then say I'm a kid? It's so obvious. Those rap parties get a lot funner after I go home. Morons, I'm gonna play the king's game now, and ain't no one gonna stop me. It's not actually alcohol. Yet another side of Risa exposed. I wonder if she knows what she's saying. Kanji! Get the chopsticks ready! What the fuck are you talking about? What? Why me? The king's word is law! Chop chop! It, it's already started? Um... What's this king's game again? Yeah, I'm a little lost. Okay. One chopstick makes you the king if you draw it, and the others have numbers on them. The king picks the number and says what that person has to do. But who has which number is a secret until the king gives the orders. Bazinga. I... <sighs> Thank you for the follow. Senpai, you're such an adult. You tell him. Yukiko, where'd you learn this stuff? Man, I wonder. It's almost like she's a fucking hostess at a hotel or something. <laughs> Come on, everyone draw! I don't know. Let's draw the near one. Number six. Okay, so... Who's the king? No. Teddy's is red. Red! No. Uh, we're already doomed from the get-go. I, the king, command thee to smooch the king without delay. No, you have to... That's not how it works. Smooch! Teddy, no. God damn it. Smooch! Please, God, grant me a girl. Number okay, three! I think you're getting it. Never mind. I think he's got it. Ah! I'm at number two! No take backs! Smooch! Smooch! <sighs> Kanji! So you were after my fuzzy fur! You're the one who said number three, asshole. Okay. But it's my first time. Be gentle. <laughs> Whoa! Ow! Oh, hey, quit that! Don't make me find you, damn it! Ah! No! Hey! Help! Oh -ho! Only the first round and two contestants have dropped out already. Huh? Is it that kind of game? On to round two! I guess so. Which stick should you draw? Uh... Far one. Yeah, the far one this time. Oh no, oh no! Who's the king? Phew, someone decent. No crazy orders this time. That's not how it goes. If the last king demanded a smooch, then the next order's gotta be more extreme. No. <laughs> T.A., don't be such a party pooper. <laughs> hey! The person who gets picked should have to rest their head on the king's lap. I... Nah, make him sit on his lap. Oh, no. Oh, or they could have to hug him. What the f fuck? Better than that, a piggyback ride. You guys need to calm down. Come on, King. Who's going to do what? These motherfuckers cannot hold their liquor.
Oh no. I, I feel like there's no winning here. Gotta say, number four gets a piggyback ride. Sounds pretty fucking cool, though. We're doing it. Look, there's three girls here, and I get chosen. Oh, champ! The king's order is absolute. <laughs> A piggyback ride? Not cool, man. Not cool. Is Naoto just like not playing? Ha ha! Yeah! <laughs> You've had enough, right? Please show some mercy. Easy. Me! I am the king! Actually, the queen. Yeah, sure. You didn't even draw a chopstick! Alright then, let's have someone talk about something really embarrassing that they'd never want to tell anyone. Oh no. Hmm, let's see. Oh, Naoto kun! I choose you! Naoto is probably was probably privy to all of this. She's breaking all the rules. Just ignore her, Naoto. No. No, that won't be necessary. One stipulation though, if I do this, the rest of you must reveal something as well. Okay. No particularly embarrassing experiences come to mind. Would discussing my life be fair game? It's the rare situation like this that gives me call to speak of such things. He has no secrets. Damn, way to kill the mood. The Shiragane family has been detectives for generations now. We lend our powers to the police from time to time. The fuck is that supposed to mean? For generations? Wow, it's like that guy from a movie I watched before. What was his name? Kuzu Noha? Ha. In days gone by when there were no crime scene investigators, consulting detectives were considered more valuable. Thus my grandfather still has a strong connection with the police and looks after me, despite my youth and inexperience. But investigators nowadays are well versed in science and medicine, so I must further my studies. That sounds tough. Uh, that's it? No punchline? Uh, I fear you may be looking to the wrong person for that. That's so embarrassing! Isn't Hotokun embarrassing? Jesus Christ. I want to go home. Whew, I'm sleepy. Well then, it's your turn now. A straight answer, please. What is your true involvement with the murder oh, case? Oh, God. You know, you're so good at killing the mood that it's almost funny. Well, we go rescuing people who have been kidnapped by jumping into the TV. Oh, no. And then we do stuff like Persona! With our personas and beat the crap out of shadows. You idiot! Are you making fun of me? It's true! Persona! <laughs> Jeez, someone put these two drunks to bed already. I see now that you had no intention of telling me the truth. But I'm curious, how did you become so inebriated? This isn't alcohol. Yeah, I knew it. Good one, Naoto! No, I confirmed it when I first entered. No alcohol has been served here since a rash of drunk driving last year. Huh? Does that mean we're all just drunk off the atmosphere? Yeah. Who cares? 
me see. I feel so good. Good night. Hey, hey senpai. How the hell are we gonna get back with two passed out drunks? Ugh. All this is giving me a big headache. Is this what a hangover feels like? No. Teddy's still totally okay. Shut your fucking face. Did you not? <laughs> Let's keep drinking till morning. <laughs> Bring it on. As I said, you haven't been drinking alcohol. Are you a pack of imbeciles? I think this, this just confirms my suspicion that Naoto is in fact the best girl. You know, it kind of like how, uh, what's his... Fucking Speedwagon is his best waifu. Who did you pick for King's game? I, I, uh... <laughs> I ended up, uh, getting... Yosuke. Shopping district in front of the station. Hagakure Ramen. Mm, oh man, this is really something! Why are you still... How are you eating in the bear costume? This place serves the best ramen in town. When we were filming, a lot of times I came here instead of eating box lunches. Hmm? Huh? You're not hungry? Um, <laughs> what happened last night? I don't remember much about it. Um. Oh, I think the two of us fell asleep quick. I heard it got pretty wild, though. <laughs> I see. I don't remember at all. <laughs> Fake drunk Yukiko was pretty great. I gotta, I gotta say, I enjoyed that bit. Ah, oh, this flavor never changes. I couldn't come here too often because it's high in carbohydrates, so being able to eat as much as I want is like a dream. Ooh, this is delicious. It has an interesting taste that makes you hungry for more. See? See? Another bowl, please. Keep the noodles hard. Huh? the fuck is that supposed to mean? Um, I'll have the hug of curry bowl. The hug of curry bowl's a normal menu item now? Oh, I should have asked. Oh well, this is just as good. Hey, is it okay for you to be out in the open like this? Sure, no problem. See those signing boards? My autograph's up there too, but the cook doesn't give me a second glance. That's just how it is over here. Plus, I'm barely wearing any makeup. Barely. Oh, you're right. There's a lot of autographs on display. The fuck's with the handprint? You know what I think? The reason they don't notice you is because this bear sticks out like a sore thumb. Again, how is he eating through the bear suit? Guess if he wore that over here, he'll have to go home wearing it. Isn't it all steamy inside from the ramen? Huh? Where's my bowl? You didn't eat it, did you? Y you didn't finish, so... <laughs> Damn. I was going to finish it! Hey, didn't you just order more a second ago? How many have you eaten? I don't know how to count. I, I feel like you should. I, I really do. You little liar. Give me that check. Let's see here. One, two, ten bowls? Yuki-chan's makes it eleven. <clears throat> I was going to finish mine. There, there. I'm sorry to interrupt, but it's close to the meeting time. Oh, already? I thought the trip was going to be a bore, but now that it's over... I actually had a good time. Hey, let's buy a souvenir at the station. I bet Nanako-chan will be expecting that one. That is a good point. Buy an Iwatorai t-shirt, mochi, or a lamp. 
I like the idea of a lamp. Mochi. Best reaction. All right. All right, let's get going. Come on, Teddy, we're leaving. Teddy? Yo. Hey, Ted. Don't make me rub your fur the wrong way, you little. Is he dead? D dude. Hey, he ain't moving. I is he hibernating? Hey. No, don't don't tell me. It's not because he's been in our world too long, is it? Are you serious? Teddy! <laughs> <laughs> My tummy's heavy. Leave it behind. Seriously. I ate too much. Can't move. Someone carry me. How'd you have ten bowls? I mustn't be late for our rendezvous. Please excuse me. Rendezvous. Ugh. Oh, Yukiko, mustn't. wait for me! <clears throat> hey, I really can't move! And I don't have the money for a return ticket! Sounds like a you problem. Farewell, Teddy. We shall leave you here, along with our memories of youth. Up, Nanako. Did you have fun? Yeah. It was great. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, right? I've seen it on TV. There are tall buildings and a bunch of people and an ocean and stores. Uh, as if she was the one who went. Remember that you bought a souvenir for Nanako. Got you something. Seems to like it. Oh, hi, Dad. What's up, Dojima? Oh, you're back. We just missed each other, huh? Guess so. Look, my big bro got me a souvenir. Hey, nice. Did you remember to thank him? Of course. Huh. I guess that came out of your own pocket. Thanks. You went to Tatsumi Port Island, yeah? <laughs> I guess the city was no big deal for a guy like you. By the way, if the first years went along with you, Naoto Shirogane must have been there too. Yes. You talk to him much? Uh. Kinda, I guess. Yeah. He's mature for his age, but he's still a year younger than you. Mm -hmm. Try to make friends with him, will you? He's a cocky brat, but he's honest. The higher-ups are losing their patience with him. It doesn't matter if his argument holds water or not. The fuck is that supposed but to mean? At this rate, he won't accomplish anything but getting himself booted off the team. Adults can be a selfish bunch. Dojima has a kind look in his eyes. Oh, sorry. You must be tired. Why don't you take a bath? Oh, but don't forget to take your stuff upstairs. Nanako, can you get the bath ready? <sighs> School trip is over, and it's a peaceful Sunday morning. Nothing of note happened while you were away. What should you do today? You realize that you haven't bought anything, blah, blah, blah. Let's take a look. Fuma Bundo or Inaba Trout. 
Well. I need Eden Patrol to feed to the cat anyway. All right. Let's see what we got. Oh god, I just popped my fucking neck. That felt good. Uh, one second. Perfect timing, Mister. Just bought special seedlings, bead melons. Back all your stamina and energy. Wall paprika. Yeah, give me some fucking melons. And you know what? Also give me the wall paprika. Alright, let's go give everyone their shit. Uh, a special on the crime circumstances and whatnot. doesn't really go out, and it doesn't run on electricity. Ah, listen to me. I'm going on about oh, some kind of amazing contraption. Whatever you may think, pretty amazing to me. Well, here you go. This is a token of my gratitude. 30,000 yen. Damn. Thanks, man. My sister shouted at me. Why didn't you pick the same snack as me? What's so wrong about liking cookies? leaf. I mean, a lamp that never goes out. Hmm? My. You don't happen to be the hospital janitor. Uh, yeah, I am, actually. Why? I didn't think I would see you here. It's a nice day today. Would you take the time to talk with this old woman? I guess I should probably start this. After I go give everyone their shit. <sighs> Fuck it. We're giving the cat the huge fish. I don't think there was anything here, but... Fucking Yosuke. Figured I would check. Oh, hey, there's Chie. Picross rules. And 10,000 yet. Thank you. Actually, do I want to do a uh, bike thing with Chie, or do I want to do Death Arcana? You select someone in the shopping district, it means bike ride. Okay, good to know. Alright, come on, let's go. Easy. <laughs> Tomorrow is Rise. Okay. So I probably want to do both Chie and Rise then. Or Death Arcana. I need to start that. You can do Death on the 14th? Okay. Right, because that's a Wednesday, right? Okay. <laughs> 
Alright. Uh, I have not checked the bookstore in a minute. We got something for Yosuke. Uh, eh. I mean, plus 30 SP is kind of nice, but it's not. N I would assume that's not nearly as good as plus 10 strength. Like, come on. Uh, also, we got. Accessories or something. Reduces chance of panic. Reduces chance of exhaustion. Nothing. All right. Is that everything? Let's, let's go to a hot spring. What? <laughs> says what did you what you would call a day trip? Hmm. Just the two of us? I mean, we'd have to split two separate baths. Brings as much as the next girl. Jesus Christ. The hot springs. Came here with Chie. Hear a voice from the women's section of the hot springs. You there, Common Coon? <laughs> I'm the only one on this side to get this big bath all to myself. Man, this is heaven. Enjoy the hot springs with Chie. What will you talk about? Talk about the future, talk about the past. Does it really matter? Future. I'm trying to think like what what is like a really awkward question to ask someone about their future. Hey Chia, when do you think you're gonna die? <laughs> hmm. Uh, it's like I can see what I want for a second, then it's gone. It's still really blurry for me. Got the future, something changed inside the chair. Hama! I mean, we don't really want... I guess we can, we can get rid of revolution. I feel like revolution is going to hurt more than it will help. I mean, Hama is literally just the base light skill. We have better. We have better. We really don't need Hama. Can't work at the hospital today. 
Fridge is full of food. Oh my god. Won't become closer yet. No, we got we got books to read. We got books to read. Raise your courage. Yeah, let's go. You begin reading Man God. Uh, every chapter begins, all men with a blah, blah, blah. Your courage has changed from daring to heroic. That is max courage, I think. Anything that isn't maxed out right now, which I think is courage and... Um... Whatever the, the touchy-feely one is. Common. If you can spare the time, can you come somewhere with me? No rush or anything. Expression. Yeah, that one's encourages currently maxed, it seems. Senpai, uh, about practice, um, if you have time, please come. Seems to be embarrassed about something. Well, this is a bit of a choice. But, oh god. I hope you all enjoyed the school trip. Don't you all feel just a bit more mature now that you've visited an urban area like that? Oh, by the way, that cute bear that Kamen Kuo had at the trip. It was really adorable. I get so tempted by animals with such unique designs. Speaking of bears, uh, their friends, the pandas, are also really cute. What they used to be called in Japanese. They were called black and white bears, and divided color bears, a perfect description for how they look. The mixed colors, so exotic, yet so delightful. Gonna do some exotic things to become adults anyway, hey 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 hey. Knowledge has increased. Oh wait, Rise bike ride. Or whatever the fuck Yosuke needs. Oh Jesus. What's up? Oh that boy's here again. You must really want to see me. A younger boy, hmm? He's definitely out of my league though. Still, he's trying so hard that I almost feel sorry for him. I'm trying to imitate the voice that they give to her as best as I can. Senpai, you going to practice or go together? Get up. Going to become closer soon. Uh, not yet, sorry. Yo! See you later. Mm. What rank are you at with him? I don't think I'm very high with Yosuke, actually. Rank 7. Yeah, I am rank 7. Okay. I need to up Rise. And... Mary. Marie. Try to get Adachi to 6 by November. Okay. Uh, Adachi will be at Juness. 
on weekends, right? Something like that? I don't know. Not Juness. I don't know why I went to Juness. Hey, Rise. Oh, sir. Uh, at first, I thought I'd only ride it around town, so I didn't get keep as much gas in it. But riding it is so much fun that I just had uh, them fill up my tank. Hey, you want to go somewhere with me? Go somewhere on your scooters. Go out with Rise. <laughs> Let's go to a hot spring. Dude, go into hot springs with the fucking crew. Yeah, sure, why not? It's good to take a day to, to relax like that once in a while. <laughs> Probably talk over the wall. Said to go out with Rise. Ah, oh, it springs. You came here with a Rise. Your voice from the women's section. Senpai, are you there? There's absolutely nobody here on this side. So big, I feel. His entire section was just reserved for me. I'm so happy. Uh, it's so big. We could be in here together. Just kidding. You decided to talk about the future. I, I did on. not. I did not select that. Oh, hey. Good evening, and welcome to Nightline's special Night Watch Report. A suspect in the murders in Inaba was safely arrested recently. But what few people know is that the mastermind who brought him to justice was a high school detective. Tonight's report will focus on this detective prince, Naoto Shirogane, whose handsome looks are sweeping the nation. Thanks for being on the show. No, no. The pleasure is all mine. Hey, it's Naoto. Oh, his uniform's the same as yours. First, congratulations to you and the police for your recent arrest of the culprit. It was well known that there were a lot of mysteries surrounding this case, and you did a great job clearing them up. I'd hesitate to say that the matter is cleared up as such. It's true that our suspect was behind Mr. Moraoka's unfortunate death. But when I cast my eye over the case as a whole, I detect a few things that seem out of place. Oh? Like what? Unfortunately, I cannot divulge details at this time. But this matter claimed the lives of three people. Hence, I believe even the smallest inconsistency must be investigated. Yeah, okay. I... I see. I have to say, this is a surprise in light of the police's official statement. Now for our next segment, The Detective Prince's True Identity, where Nato kun oh, no. tells us a little bit about himself. Amazingly, The Detective Prince has solved a whopping 24 cases. 16 of them were... There's a detective at your school? When I'm older, I'm gonna go to your school, too. Yeah, I guess so. Breezy evening passes. Thank God. I was really worried that that was not Hi, going senpai. to be. Oh, hey, what's up? Yo. Hey, did you see the show on TV last night? Naoto kun was on. That thing about the detective prince solving the case? Come on, we're the ones who actually caught the killer. But the police were the ones who identified the suspect, and he was cooperating with them on it, right? I suppose so. So it's true that he helped solve the case. 
I'm kind of surprised, though. I didn't think he was the type to go after the spotlight like that. Good morning. Nice shirt. I've been waiting for you all. There's something I needed to discuss with you regarding the case. Discuss? Dude, we'll be late if we talk too long. Hey, where's your uniform? Could you please indulge my current theory on the matter? What is it? First, as regards commonalities between the victims, all of them were kidnapped before they were murdered. The victims were all locals who had been the focus of recent media attention, becoming suddenly well-known. That is the most likely scenario. I don't believe there's anything intrinsically unique about the victims themselves. Haven't you all come to the same conclusion? Yeah, roughly. <laughs> I plead the fifth. Then allow me to state my point. You think you're going to be targeted next. Will you admit that a number of you fit these identical circumstances? There was a long interval between the second and third deaths in this case. But after I applied the aforementioned criteria, I discovered several similar disappearances had taken place. Yukiko Amagi, Kanji Tatsumi, Risei Kujikawa. All of you disappeared shortly after being shown on TV. Either you escaped death somehow, or you faked your own disappearances in order to divert attention from yourselves. Since some of you had ties to the victims, there came a point where I suspected one of you must be the culprit. You thought one of us was the killer? Oh, you can't be serious! It makes sense, Chie. Come on. This was a prior theory, since discarded. Putting together everything I've learned until this moment, I believe exactly the opposite. Yeah, it was Teddy. No, no, no. Just like, no, no, no. You were right. It, it was Teddy. Can you please get him out of here, please? You aren't the culprits. You may, in fact, be the only ones with the means to pursue the true perpetrator. Seen as a joining of forces between the rescued, everything falls into place. Of course, this is all speculation. There is, in fact, a flaw in the theory. It doesn't account for the third incident, Mr. Moraoka's murder. He has never been broadcast on television, and neither did he ever disappear. We must also consider the condition of his corpse. What was the condition of his corpse? The first two victims are still listed with an unknown cause of death. But Mr. Moraoka died of an easily identifiable blunt force trauma to the occipital cranium. He got hit in the head. The police have not satisfactorily resolved this discrepancy, yet they are desperate to close the case. Further action will be necessary to obtain some sort of decisive evidence. Further action? What do you mean? Well, whatever the outcome, the evidence should come to light. The evidence should come. You said something interesting to me not long ago. Hey, where are you going? This is not a game for me either. Naoto-kun? Yeah, okay. Is he skipping school? Understandable, honestly. Yo, what's good? Yo, common. Today's practice, right? Don't worry, I'll be there. I'll catch you later. Buggers. All right. Um. So relationships gonna advance with what's or nuts. Yo. He's going to become closer soon. Yeah, we can definitely 
finish these up. I think uh, the Strength Boys and the Sun are the same. Yeah, both rank 8. Let's, let's go do... Let's go do Ayane. Let's go finish our uh, romantic social link. <laughs> Pretty passionate about music. Mm hmm Yes, it got me high music room. You attended band rehearsal. You played your trumpet with passion. Your expression has increased. Ayane is playing well. Senpai. What's good? I still get a little flustered when it's just you and me. I guess it's kind of hard to believe. There really is such a thing as true love. I'm sorry. I shouldn't be saying things like that. <laughs> Ellipses giggle. Ayane is smiling merrily. Feel the bond between you and Ayane has grown even stronger. Cleaning done fast so that afterwards, looks at the ground nervously. What the fuck? an event no matter what you choose. Fuck it. Your huh? house? Ayane is panicking. Ayane is fidgeting. Oh Let's no. Go. Your room. Ellipses. Ayane is silent. Um, um. <laughs> Conversation through the awkward silences. Goodbye. All right. Oh, welcome home, big bro. Why do you look so sad, Nanako? It's going to rain tomorrow. I was going to do laundry. Oh, that's why. Yeah, sorry, uh, Dojima. I gotta, I gotta read. Actually, you know what I have to do? I don't have to read. I have to fucking work. On the fucking thing. You decided to build a model. It's raining! You overhear students talking. Hey, did you see that show on TV? The one about the Detective Prince's secret identity? Naoto-kun is so cool. Yeah, he really does have it going on, doesn't he? He's really young to be a detective, too. He's cute. But he has this aura of mystery about him. That's cool, too. Do you think he'll be at school today? Man, I wonder why Naoto isn't coming to school. Hmm. Strange. Hmm. Strange. Hmm. 
Yes. Oh, well. Time to go eat a beef bowl. Time to go eat a beef bowl. Oh, wait. It's the 14th. I have to go do, uh, death. Actually, wait. Not that one. Is it status? Diligence, understanding, and knowledge. Knowledge. I think our knowledge has to be... Max to do... Whatever what's his nuts his thing is, Naoto. Alright, yeah, let's go do beef bowl, I guess. Well, no. No 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 no. Let's go do death. Eh, beef bowl. Uh, wait, is death even going to be here? Because it's raining. Yeah. I was like... I was pretty certain. All right, let's uh, let's go eat ourselves a beef bowl. Aya, aya. Knowledge, diligence, and understanding. Aya. Delivery for you. Inaba Trout. And a price sticker. Hey, you want to go plant some shit? Nanako. Let's go plant some melon. Melon. Alright, Gonzalo. Man, I wonder what's going to be on the Midnight Channel. Hmm. Hmm. A silhouette appeared. The image is hazy. You can't tell who it is. You feel like you've seen this person somewhere before. Nah, it's probably just a coincidence. Did you see that? Someone came on, right? Now that the killer's been caught, do we still gotta worry about the Midnight Channel? But then, someone said the blurry image seemed like an advance notice. What exactly is the Midnight Channel anyway? Did it have anything to do with the murders? Ugh, this is so frustrating. Hey, what do you think? Did you recognize who appeared just now? Nah, I, I don't know who it was. I think that was Moroka, right? No, it's fucking... Naoto? Why would he show up on TV? Now that you mention it, I wonder what he thinks about the Midnight Channel. Ugh, I don't get this at all. It's gonna keep nagging at me, I can tell. I'm sure the others saw it too, so let's get together tomorrow and talk about it. Night.
So, about the Midnight Channel last night. Yeah, what's up? I wonder who that was. Yeah, crazy. Who do we know that looks uh, like that? Has short hair. Uh, and wears a cap. I talked to Teddy and he says no one's entered the other side. Well, yeah, the killer's been caught. Yeah. Huh? What's up? Come on, get with the program. You saw the TV last night, right? So? It's got nothing to do with us. The Doesn't killer's it? behind bars, man. You guys are overreacting. Are we? Yeah, that shit Nalto said didn't make any sense either. So there's no use getting all worked up about it. Huh? Not kun Oh, uh, no, well, how do I put it? What, were you out of it because you were still thinking about what Naoto said? <laughs> so you're still hung up on all that stuff. That's... I ain't hung up on it. It's okay, we all understand. Just don't go overboard, man. You little... I said that's not it. I got stuff to do. I'm out of here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I just <laughs> fucking uh, all I could think about is the fucking sh stupid fucking meme. I'm stuff. Stop bringing that up, Yosuke. You know he doesn't think it's funny. Oh, what? What? Did something happen between Kanji and Naoto kun? Well, that aside, is it me or does the town seem kind of strange lately? What do you mean? Everyone is in high spirits for some reason, and they all talk about other people, but never themselves. Really? I don't think it's anything special. Now that the murder case is solved, people feel relaxed, that's all. That's what it seems like. That's how society is. They all just want to get in on the latest trend. People get excited fast and lose interest even faster. It goes round and round. And there's no underlying reason for it. I don't know. It still seems a little too weird. It's like they're all afraid of something. Oh, sorry. I just had this feeling. Huh. It sounds like you're catching on to something I'm not. It's gonna rain again tonight. Oh, you think? We should check the Midnight Channel just in case. What? We don't get a chance? Welcome back. Game sucks. Nothing's gonna be in the fridge, but just in case. It's raining tonight. Will something appear on TV? Nah, it's all over. The Midnight Channel came on. It's an extremely clear image. Good evening, everyone. I am the Detective Prince Naoto Shiragane. Oh, God. Welcome to Experiment of the Century, the Genome Project. I will be Experimentor and Experimentee both in a forbidden yet wonderful bodily alteration process. You shall witness my departure into a new realm, the moment of a new birth. From the chosen day forth, I shall walk a completely different path in life. And I will share this glorious occasion, this memorable day with all of you! Do stay tuned. Yeah, okay. That was definitely Naoto. Kanji is completely flustered. 
calm down, man. Just calm down. Oh, I I'm sorry. Hey, it's okay. You know, when the people we care about are in trouble, you know, anybody would get flustered. Being a detective, solving cases, it ain't worth shit if he gets himself kidnapped. Damn, that idiot pisses me off. Anyways, let's get the gang together and meet first thing after school. Yeah, gang! Let's get the gang together! <laughs> Said to go to bed early. I tried to do, like, shaggy, but... Didn't really work out. You over here soon stalking? Oh, no. It's been raining for a few days, but I heard it's finally supposed to clear up this afternoon. Really? I don't have to cancel my plans. You know, there's a holiday next week, right? I promised my girlfriend we'd go to Okinawa together. I was worried that it might rain that day. Whew. What? Uh, if that's the case, then I hope it never stops raining. Rain like a waterfall, so his date gets canceled. It's kind of fucked up. Last night on TV, that was Naoto Kun for sure. Yeah. What's the verdict, Teddy? Is he really in there? I mean, Teddy's not really the person to ask anymore. It's Rise. I do smell someone. It's just like before. Nothing's changed. Like before. Of course. That's why Noto couldn't appear on the news so suddenly. He said something didn't seem right and that he wasn't convinced. He also believed that the people who are kidnapped appear on TV first, remember? Wait, you're saying he's using himself as bait? Yes. We came to the same conclusion he did about how people who become famous through TV would disappear. Could he be trying to prove the theory by using himself? Yeah, probably. You mean he got kidnapped on purpose? That's crazy! He could be killed! He said, this is not a game for me either. It's all my fault. I'm the one that said that to him. Idiot! Why the hell did he just tell us? He knew we'd stop him if he did. Instead, he left us clues so we could figure it out and... I know! That son of a... But, but what about the killer the police are holding now? Mitsuo did kill King Moron, right? Maybe that's all he did. This might not be... Took in mentioning this. He said it was strange that the police were able to identify the cause of Mr. Moraoka's death. Then is King Moron the only one Mitsuo killed? That'd explain why there were no signs of King Moron being thrown into the TV. Maybe he just took credit for the other kills because he's fucking delusional. The killer didn't change his methods for King Moron. It just seemed that way because it was done by someone else. Then whoever kidnapped Naoto-kun, that's the real killer? Yeah, probably. But, but, wait a sec. Didn't Mitsuo say he was the one behind it all? Why would he take the blame for someone else's crime? Isn't that weird? Man's wanted to be famous. And they said on the news that the culprit confessed to the other murders, too. There's also something else that's been bothering me, but, um... To hell with someone who's behind bars! Yeah, getting pressed for a confession is very common. If we don't get off our asses, that stupid Naoto's gonna die in there! We gotta go find him! Yep. It's not also entirely unheard of that 
a lawyer representing someone would say, hey, you should just Someone's confess even here. if you didn't actually do it seems to have grown larger. because you don't have enough money to fight it. <laughs> That's amazing, Risei-chan. There's no way my nose can pick up that much. Shall I give you a massage? Can it, Teddy. Don't bother her. It's the same as last time. I know he's here, but I can't tell where. I need something that'll help me understand him. I need some clues. He's a detective. Without that, I have no idea which way we should look. Damn it. There's too much we don't know about that kid. But if we don't do something, he's gonna... Hey, snap out of it. This is just like all the other times. Yeah, we've done this like four times. Let's not panic. Keep an eye on the weather first. Oh, fuck. We need to look for something that'll help us locate him. Let's not panic. Keep an eye on the weather and do this like always. We'll save him no problem. I, I know. I, I wasn't panicking. We know he's over here. So all we gotta do is get him out. Yep. I'm sorry I couldn't find him. It's fine. All I need is some kind of hint to help me understand him better. Then I could find him for sure. You should ask around about him. Man, maybe we should ask, you know, one of the people he's been working with for, like, a while about these specific murder cases. Who the fuck are you, Naoto? I don't know him. Never talked to him at school or anything. Should ask some of the girls at school. I bet they'd know. Bet they would know. Uh, what? It's the fact that he also saw the case uh, interviewed for his contribution. People excited about things like that, uh, then all the bad news, you know? Right, okay. Find anything, Chie? I don't know. The Detective Prince is the talk of the town. I wanted to be a detective when I was a kid. Now that I think about it, there's not much difference between a private eye and a police detective. Wait a minute. Other than the uniform, what is the difference? Um. Payment. <laughs> hey, hey, get this. I don't have any cows around here, right? So why is Eno a specialty grilled steak, huh? It's people. Oh, Inaba steak is people. Detective Prince, where, where? Oh, I'm sorry. When you say uh, that boy, he's extremely cute, isn't he? Uh, uh, you said it, not me. Uh, the Detective Prince thing is kind of exciting, huh? He's not coming to school. Uh, does he choose his job over school? I really couldn't say. Bring your girlfriend along. It makes it even better. I would assume it would, if I had one. <laughs> and this is where I would keep my girlfriend, if I had one. Come on, come on. Yeah! Yeah! Damn. Still, pretty nice. Get one extra. Well, two extra, but one extra. On average, I feel like you win one. Every five. Oh, yes. Three extra drinks. I'll take it. High school detective. People are pretty excited about him. Sounds more like the plot of a silly novel, if you ask me. I, I mean, I'm, it probably is, actually. I, I would not be... Wait, isn't that like Nancy Drew? Sort of thing? 
something that's been bothering me lately is the kind of weird the beef steak is our specialty when there aren't any branches nearby. Getting it pretty cheap, but only my wife really knows where we get it from. Left it up to her. Why is everyone talking about this all of a sudden? Is this because is this gonna become a plot point? I, I saw him. The detective showed up on TV. He's a high school student. Hey, you're a high school student too, aren't you? Are you by, by chance a friend of the detective? Uh, yeah. No way! Oh, how nice. I want to get to know the detective better. Maybe I'll look for him on the Midnight Channel. Yo, Jeems. You around? I don't see no Jeems. Uh. Splashed out so much money on those bead melon seedlings as they grew fine. It was a failure. Did you even cut fruit properly? Maybe the fruit was too advanced for me to handle. Doesn't look very healthy. Dude, that dog's gonna die and it's gonna be all my fault. I'm ready. And he's great at your tuness. Uh, let's try checking around Yasugami. Every day is great at your Juness. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't think True Gunna guy uh first year Tech the Prince and why all the interesting show as I'm graduating. Been one year at the same school as Risei Chan. The rumors are pretty wild now. That's to be expected. It is an idol and a prince after all. <laughs> Good day, Colin. The material you gave me was amazingly responsive. I wonder where I should look for now. <laughs> you see the idol or the detective close up, they aren't really that amazing. I mean, they're cool and all, but the effect kind of wears off after a while. Something interesting going to happen again. Uh, I don't know. What do I know about Naoto? Well, I say he's got a prettier face than I do. Mine's way more manly. Yeah, <laughs> just messing with you. <laughs> Naoto Shirogane? Ah, yes, the detective prince who wishes he were a student. I don't care for that kind of sensationalism. No real student should. Excuse me, can you move your fat fucking ass? Thank you. Are you still, like, uh... <laughs> Too shy to speak to your senpai. Yeah, okay. I mean, if anyone would know, it's probably the first year girls. Gals. Oh yeah, it's you. Do you need something? Nah. You got five viewers? Oh, poggers. And he's gotten pretty popular, hasn't he? Well, I heard a rumor that there's this girl who saw something that belonged to him. Must have been near the laboratory, so why don't you try looking there? I do know that that is a social link. What did she say? Labert la laboratories? Wait. La Did they use the wrong word there? If we're talking about it, I just said it what to do. I'm going to make it happen. That is not going to be whatever it is. Convinced. Nowhere to be found. I mean the science class. Ah. Just real quick, I'm going to check the practice building to see if there's any more dialogue to be had. You, you want to hear about Shirogane-kun? I saw him get really angry. Not sure what it was about, but he was with the policeman. I wonder what happened to make him shout like that. She was in the shopping district a little while ago. 
try to find this policeman. I wonder who it was. Uh, school is unbearable now. Wouldn't tell me anything. Still staring at this fucking wall. <sighs> Mr. Kondo has been hanging around the first year classroom a lot. Like, no, Toe isn't around, huh? Interested in detectives? Maybe it's because he's a foreign language teacher. Maybe. I don't know. Maybe he's just weird. Lull. So, shopping district, they said? Hey, were you shouting with Naoto? Guess not. Oh, hey, Mr. Policeman. You weren't here before. What's up? What do you want? I'm in the middle of something here, so don't bother me. If school's out, go home already. I swear, kids these days. Laboratory. Laboratory. Fucking laboratory. Mm. I don't know. I don't see any other police officers around here. You a police officer? You a police officer, Kanji? Those police bozos won't even talk to us. If it's come to this, we're gonna have to rough them up. Um, I guess that's not an option, huh? What should we do then? We should ask the others for their opinion. Hey, hey, get this! Oh yeah, we already... We relied on Dojima-san and Adachi-san before, so we shouldn't bother them this time. Okay, but... There we go. Detective Prince. One of them will probably know something. Hmm. You think? Aren't you a policeman? Or were a policeman? Junesh! In about deplorable, blah blah blah. Oh yeah, I can catch bugs. Hold on, I'm gonna go catch bugs real quick. Poggers moment. Bug catching. Easy. Are you a uh, police detective? So much seaweed on the sand. Oh. Uh, but I wonder why it would be a pretty beach in Hawaii. Anything beaches? Uh, sure. I mean, last, like, eight-year-old girl I spoke to was on the internet. Turns out she was a police detective, so I figured it may as well be worth asking. <laughs> the fucking delivery. Like, the joke was there. The delivery was not. Everything is great at your june -ness. Fucking labs? Where are the labs? This is the offices, right? There's a faculty office. Are these the labs? This is a counselor's office. 
Nurse's office. I think these are just like the classes. Fucking stupid first year. Calligraphy. Student council. Library. I feel like I knew those. What's up, funky student? Announcement room. Computer lab. Audiovisual room. Practice hall? Oh, hey, you're here. Uh, saying or whatever, you give Ghibli's. Did she say Ghibli's? Talk to the girl in front of classroom one one. I think we already did that. And then speak with a cop. Okay, yeah, so we have to go to the riverbed and talk to Chie then. Yo, Chie, what's good? Yeah, guess it's no good unless we act like we're now Takutin's friends and we're worried about him. Like now, until hasn't been to school recently, we're getting worried busy with police work. I asked something, something like that. Ugh. What's up, dude? Got some business with me, kid? Uh, just because I don't look at I'm still busy, you know. Shirogane, do you know him? I haven't seen him at the station lately, either. Funny, wasn't that long ago that he'd be lo around well into the night, looking through the files. Uh, even if he wasn't satisfied with the case's outcome, he seemed to be so focused that uh, he was obsessed with it. Talking to another police officer. Talk with the housewife in front of the shrine. Patrolling around here. Come back tomorrow and speak with the cop at the shopping district. Okay. So I guess, yeah, I should do a social link then. What's his nuts? At Yasogami High. Saki Konishi's brother. You need something? I want to talk with you. Well, you are a strange person. Yeah. So are you, fucking weirdo. All Student Health Association members, please report to the infirmary immediately. <sighs> student Health Association members, huh? Shaw members. Come on, let's go. No thanks, I'll go by myself. You were bluntly refused. Damn! Hey, you're common coon, right? Teacher said you're filling uh, in for an absent health committee member, so you have to go too. Told you, okay? Better go, or else I'll get suspended. Huh? Okay. <laughs> you got dragged in again. You guess I'll have to turn in some notes, so I'll join you later. Just go on ahead. Apparently you are in the Student Health Association for another day. You're hurried to the infirmary. Is someone dying? Come on, Kun. You got called in again? I told them about how you were drafted into the Student Health Association. Really? Well... We're still low on members, so I'm grateful. 
Really wish they didn't call us in today. <laughs> Heck, half the people here are uh, saying they have dates or something. Plus, we have to take inventory? That's a BS. Man, Konishi has it easy. I heard that he's exempt from homework. Is that true? The hell? It's so unfair. Everyone's talking about Saki Konishi's brother. Reproach them. Yeah. It's okay. I don't mind. Sorry. Didn't mean to kill the mood. Okay, back to work. Dealt with an awkward day's work at the Student Health Association. Saki Konishi's brother is still here. Oh. Hi. Didn't go home yet? I didn't want to just leave when everyone else was still working. Just felt like I... Oh, your sleeve has dirt on it. Because of inventory, huh? Huh. Sorry. I was supposed to help with that. Use this. You were given a cute handkerchief. Um, you know what? That... Never mind. I'll stay here a little longer. So, goodbye. Yeah, okay, weirdo. <laughs> Lol. Oh, you're home. Yo, we can work as a janitor at the hospital today. But her expression is god tier. So we can also hang out with Nanako. I don't know. Devil's only rank four, Nanako's rank five. I think we should go do the hospital. First of all, let's check this. A mushroom there that you don't recognize. It may have grown out of something that had previously been in the fridge. You have max courage. You know what? You're right. Probably from working at the hospital. <laughs> the fuck are you doing here? You feel your relationship with Sayoko won't deepen just yet. Nah. Let's go. Let's, uh, let's go home. Let's go hang out with Nanako. Yeah, what's good, Nanako? Nanako looks relieved. <laughs> Don't tell Dad, but... Nanako looks like she's about to cry. What happened? Nanako looks nervous. They handed this out at school. They said to give it to our parents. The following written on it. Parent survey regarding schedule of parent-teacher interviews. Parents write down when they can visit the school. But dad's always working, so... He can't come, huh? I'll ask him with you. Really? Thanks, big bro. I want to die. Nanako looks relieved. I'll give this to dad. I'll ask him to come. I'm glad I asked you. I feel Nanako's trust for you. <laughs> He'll come, right? 
since he's my real dad. Big bro, did you have parent-teacher interviews too? Were you nervous? You talked about different things with Nanako. Good night. Yeah, alright. Did you all have a memorable summer vacation? I had a beautiful time in Egypt. Did you actually go to Egypt? Ho oh, ho, the people were very kind to me. They were probably able to sense my deep appreciation and love for their history. I even found some things with uh, my dowsing rod. The citizens were very glad indeed. Time sure flies when you're having fun. I'm sure your summer bla uh, break was short for all of you as well. However, don't you think that there are some things in life that are best ended quickly? War is one of them. So here is a question. Miss Chi... No, comment. What's good? How short was history's shortest war? What? I don't know, 40 hours? Forty minutes, forty hour, forty minutes? Is it forty minutes? Damn. You gave the answer you think is correct. Good job, coming. I'm impressed you knew. Shortest war uh, in history lasted only forty minutes. It was the Anglo-Zanzibar War, which began with an already staggering difference in military resource. Mind you, this lecture will be longer than the actual war we're going to talk about. There's so much to learn. The UK and the... <laughs> Sultanate had a war. <laughs> oh, man. Man, that knowledge is really going to come in handy when we, uh... Advance the Nauto social link. Oh, wait. Uh, how long have I been playing this game? I know I've been streaming for, like, almost nine hours, but... Three hours-ish? Alright. Let's see if we can get, like, one more thing done real quick, and then I'll call it... Strength 9? Strength 9? Any Strength 9ers? ay 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 Any Strength 9ers? ay 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 Let's go catch some bugs real quick, actually. We need to catch those bugs, man. This is very important. Oh, yeah, and feed the cat. And talk to this guy. Did you see someone suspicious? Told him investigation. What's his problem, really? The department can sheesh. Uh, all we want to do is shut the book and uh, do deal anymore. Uh, whole department treats him like a kid. He's getting all worked up over nothing. Everyone's giving him the cold shoulder. Learn something about Naoto. Naoto has an obsession with the case. Yeah. What did the police think of Naoto? Consider him a child. Session with the investigation. It seems that the session was not really received. It was a child. You know what I'm saying? Naoto a bit more. You should report to Risa. Okay. Go catch them bugs. On the way. On the way. You got puzzles? Oh boy. On the 
on the way. Yo, we got bugs out the ass. Oh no way. We got bugs on bugs on bugs. Oh yeah, and we have to feed the cat. Uh, I can wait. Yo! Rakshasa. Yes. <laughs> Sweet, let's give it our best shot. Go looks happy. You also got me high gym. You attended basketball practice. Your diligence has increased. Ha 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 ha. Natural laughing. Ha 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 ha. Samegawa Riverbank. Ko wanted to be by the river, so you stopped by on the way home. Yo, are we gonna find that fucking rabbit doll? Ever? <sighs> this place brings back a lot of memories. The first time I came here was also my first time in town. Right after the Ichijo family took me in. The sky was totally clear, except for the setting sun. And the light hitting the water made it shine. It was beautiful. Help me decide something. I thought, from now on, I am an Ichijo. I convinced myself that the old me was dead. At least, that's what I thought. But you were just a kid then, right? Yeah, <laughs> isn't that crazy? A little kid thinking like that? But I guess even kids have stuff on their minds sometimes. Funny thing is... I never really became an Ichijo. I looked, sounded, and acted like one, but it was just a mask I wore. And now that I don't have to wear that mask anymore, I guess it's time to step off the stage. What do you mean? I don't know what I mean either. I don't have a clue what to do with myself. Ko stares off into the distance. <laughs> <laughs> Just makes me feel kind of empty, knowing that my real parents are dead. It's like I have no roots. We should go visit their graves after practice sometime. I wouldn't even know where to find them got the letter, but whoever wrote it didn't sign it. They didn't mention my parents' names either. Also, did you see that? Did you see that? There's grammar error. Grammar error. There's grammar error. Parents' is, parents' is grammar error. Grammar error. Uh, whoever handed you over to the orphanage wrote that letter, right? Uh, wouldn't that mean they've been holding on to it for like 10 years? It's pretty rough asking someone to remember what happened 10 years ago. 10 years ago. You still carrying that thing? Yeah, well, can't let anyone at the house see it, so... Huh? Hmm? The name on the front, Ko-sama, is smeared. Like someone rubbed their hand against it. Maybe they just wrote it in a hurry. Plus, the corner of the envelope is sharp enough to give you a paper cut. What do you think? Huh? I guess something that had been stored for... Huh? Was it written recently? Or was it swapped? The smudge wouldn't really indicate... 
written recently. Whole summer. You think so too? Ko nods seriously. What does this mean? I think the head of the orphanage must have written it. When I visited, she could probably tell I was depressed. Hmm. Hey, cheer up, man. Even if it is a fake. Uh, sounds bad to call it a fake, but she didn't do it to pull a fast one on you. No, you've got it all wrong. I'm happy. I'm glad there are such nice people out there in the world. Maybe the letter is true. Maybe it's just a nice lie. But all the same, someone was there to give birth to me. Someone was there to raise me. And someone is there to watch over me like this. I thought I had no roots, no ties to anybody. But that's not true. Took you long enough to get the pictures, stupid. <laughs> stupid? I know you are, but what am I? I'm the one who told you that you'd always have us, stupid. Well, I'm rubber and you're glue. Ko's eyes are red, but he's laughing. Seems you were able to support Ko when he needed you most. Any rank niners? Ayaya? Ayaya? Any Cherno boys? Ayaya? <laughs> Man, you've got a really ugly mug, you know that? Wanna go for a swim, ugly? It'll be like old times. <laughs> yeah, come to think of it, we used to play around here, didn't we? All right. How about you? Wanna go for a dip? Uh, I better get home. What, like you have a choice? Oh boy. Whoa, it's freaking cold! You horse around in the river with Ko and Daisuke. Then went home. Oh, welcome home. Welcome home, big bro. All right. That's a good stream. Sixty-two hours. Jesus Christ. I'm not playing Xenoblade on stream. <laughs>